Now more than ever, Clark County needs foster parents, and these are folks who provide a temporary place for kids to call home. But before a child can be fostered, there's several steps you need to take. Last night we showed you what the nine-week training course looks like. Tonight we show you the process with the home inspection. And those can be intimidating to a lot of folks, so Fox 5's Danny Maston breaks it down for us. Clark County officials tell me they're trying to diminish the stigma. They say some people are so afraid of an inspector walking through their home, it keeps them from even signing up to become a foster parent. Last night, I introduced you to Paige Patton, who took me step by step through the beginning process. Tonight, licensing worker Joanne Servin shows what to expect when she comes in your home to inspect. Good morning. Here to do your inspection. How are you today? For eight years, home licensing inspector Joanne Servin has been doing what she calls informal home tours. They ensure foster kids enter safe and comfortable environments. I'm looking out for safety doing a home inspection as well as I'm assessing them when I write their home studies. Paige Patton just completed her training. She says the classes get foster parents prepped and ready. You get introduced to the worker who's eventually going to do the home inspection. And so I think meeting that person at the same time going through the classes really helps you feel prepared. Joanne says she tries to make the process as painless as possible. Not only do I email them in writing some uh, policies and procedures, uh, I also email them some tips and tricks on how to make your home compliant. Licensing worker who I'm working with, you know, he came early on in, in my process of getting prepared and he walked through the whole house with me and helped me really understand what needs to be changed. Joanne walked me through an inspection. One of the areas that we touch on for home safety for licensed foster homes is um, smoke detectors and they do have to be in working condition. All medications, whether they are prescription, non-prescription, including vitamin supplements, will need to be locked up. We check under every sink in the home uh, to see whether or not there's chemicals, chemical storage. Joanne says the inspection is not to make clients feel as if they are jumping through hoops, but simply making sure it's kid-proof. They just want so bad to help, and then they feel that they might be being judged, and I want to take that stigma away that we are not judging them. We are simply there to assess the safety. You have to check off a lot of boxes, but it's really doable. The home inspection is not like passing a test where you either pass or fail. I simply write it up as a deficiency and request that you correct the deficiency. Joanne says they generally visit homes twice, but can go back if necessary. They're required to inspect homes annually and provide support visits if foster parents need them. Everybody involved, whether it's the teacher of your class or um, your licensing worker, everyone is there to support you and set you up for success and make you feel like you have someone holding your hand along during the whole way so that it's not too overwhelming. The end goal of fostering is to get them reunited with their biological parents. On Thanksgiving, right here on Fox 5, we speak with a biological parent who reunites with her kids after being separated for over a year. I'm Danny Mastin, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. Clark County says the number of successful home inspections depends on the number of people who submit the required paperwork, and then they will be assigned a licensing worker and complete a home inspection. This year to date, Clark County's Department of Family Services has licensed 150 homes.